CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your DVR or NVR to the PC software using its P2P or NAT serial number or QR code. So first, in order to add a device, I need to go to the Resource Management tab. I'm on the home page of the software. If you're not there already, you'll need to click on the Home tab to get there. And then to add, edit, or delete a device, I need to click the menu option named Add, Edit, or Delete Device. It's going to take me to the device adding screen. NVRs and DVRs are considered encoding devices, so I need to click the Add button after selecting my device type of encoding device. So if you're not already selected, you need to click on Encoding Device first, and then click the Add button. What this is going to do is search my network for devices that can be added to it. In this example though, I'm going to pretend that I'm remotely viewing my system and I need to remotely view it using that serial number. So I need to go from the quickly add option to the manually add option. So these are tabs at the top of the adding encoding device screen here. So I'm clicking manual add and then for IP address it's it's going to bring up this menu so I first need to click on that and then this is going to allow me to switch this to say serial number. So now you're probably wondering well where do I get that serial number from? So here I have the HDMI output from my recorder being displayed on my desktop using a capture card so I can show you where to find this QR code. So this would be in your instance would be a monitor or a television. So first you're going to click on the start menu. You're going to click log in. I'm going to log in just using the default username and password. Here I'm just using actually the graphical password. And now that I'm logged into the admin user I need to go back to the menu option choose the settings option from there. It's going to bring up a main menu. Then I need to go to network and then to the NAT page. So here I found my code. Again, in your instance, this would be a, mo a monitor or a television. You need to log into the user, go to the network settings, and then get to the NAT page, and then find your code here. So you would type this code in NB733, so on. Or the second way to find this code, if you know what the IP address of your recorder is, is by using the web browser. So here I have Microsoft Edge. It's already pointed at my recorder. And I'm just going to log in using the default username and password. I'm going to click login or hit enter on my keyboard there. And then go to the function panel. It's much like the monitor output from the DVR. Here is the network page again and then you need to find the NAT option here and here is this code. So now that I have this in my web browser I can actually double click this, right click it, copy and paste it or type it out. So I pasted it using control V on my keyboard or I can type it out manually. So it's going to be NB7330732 58G and I need to type in the password. So the outdoor speaker kit. Um, and then you can hit the test button or you can click the OK button. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the test button. This is essentially going to test if my DVR is online, if I've entered in the correct password, and if the software is able to connect over the internet to my DVR. It says the test succeeds, so I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK to finish adding my DVR to the software. Now, since it is going over the internet, it may take up to 30 seconds to even maybe a few minutes for the software to successfully connect over the internet to my DVR. After it's brought in the channel number and all of the rest of this information, then I can rest assured that the software has successfully connected to my DVR. Hopefully this video helps you add your DVR to the software using the serial number so you can remotely view it. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.